Hey, everybody, and welcome to Bible Class. Thank you so much for being with us. Can you open your Bibles with me to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 12? That's where we're going to dive in as we continue our study of the miracles of Jesus, where we've been learning for a couple of months now how the real point of these mighty works and wonders and signs It wasn't just Jesus putting on a good show. He was working these miracles so that people could know. We learned a little bit about that last Sunday, right? That you may know who Jesus was, where he had come from, and especially why they ought to be listening to him. That's at the heart of all of these miracles. So what about where your Bible is open to Matthew chapter 12, when there were serious questions about the Sabbath day? We'll be in Matthew chapter 12 in just a moment. The Sabbath stretches all the way back to Exodus chapter 20, when God was giving those famous Ten Commandments to the children of Israel. And one of those Ten Commandments was, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant or your livestock or the sojourner who is within your gates. It stretches all the way back to creation. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. And now for generation after generation after generation, the descendants of Abraham would observe this Sabbath day. Well, it is a Sabbath day in Matthew chapter 12 when Jesus and his disciples were passing through some grain fields. You see that in verse 1. Jesus' disciples were hungry and they began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said to Jesus, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Now, as a class, we might dig in a little to Jesus' answers. He, He challenges the understanding of the Pharisees by asking questions of his own from the Old Testament. Matthew 12, verse 3, he asks, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry? And those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and ate the bread of the presence, which it was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law how on the Sabbath, the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are guiltless? Now, there's... There's some things that maybe we can dig in as a class, but I really want you to pay careful attention to Matthew 12, verses 6, 7, and 8, where Jesus says, I tell you something greater than the temple is here. And if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless. For, listen, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Did Jesus from Nazareth really have the authority To talk like that, well, Matthew shows us that he did by telling us what happens next. Matthew chapter 12, verse 9. Jesus went on from there and entered their synagogue. And a man was there with a withered hand, and they asked him, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Now, 
Matthew helps us to understand what they really want to do is accuse Jesus. Jesus responds with another question. Which one of you who has a sheep, if it falls into a pit, on the Sabbath, will not take hold of it and lift it up. Of how much more value is a man than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And the man stretched it out, and it was restored. Healthy, like the other. But the Pharisees, who have just seen what could only be described as a miracle, there was a man who had a withered hand, and he hasn't even left the synagogue building, and now his hand is no longer withered. The only explanation for that is Jesus just worked a miracle. All that they know is, They've got to destroy him. What I want you to see is, is it lawful to heal a man on the Sabbath day? It is if you are Lord even of the Sabbath. Now, I I would love for you to open your Bibles to the Gospel of John chapter 5. I'm going to kick it back over to your in-person class teacher. And together you all are going to read a second miracle that Jesus performed on another Sabbath day from John chapter 5. Once your Bibles are there, you can see right there in the middle or end of verse 9. Now that day was the Sabbath. Jesus works another miracle. And by the time we reach John chapter 5, verse 18, John tells us this was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. Remember what we've been learning. The point of the miracles, it wasn't to put on a big show. It was to show who Jesus was, where he had come from, and why we ought to listen to him. So let's talk about it. Matthew 12, John chapter 5. Thanks for being in class today. I hope you have a great rest of your class and a great start to this new week.